In this video, we're just going to be taking a brief look at uh, sextant telescopes and we'll be uh, comparing a couple uh, with each other. Um, we'll start off with the Davis. Um, the Davis, uh, as you know, is a plastic sextant uh, proto that uh, did a very nice critique of uh, of the Davis Mark 15, um, and I thought his comments were very, very fair um, and uh, and balanced. It's it's not a bad sextant. Um, it's not pretending uh, to be something that it isn't. You aren't going to be using the sec uh, the Davis sextant for uh, for lunar distancing, uh, for normal um, altitude uh, observations. It works just fine. Uh, I would just uh, urge anyone who's actually thinking of buying um, a sextant when they first use it. Um, remove the telescope. Um, the instrument is going to be um, perhaps uh, unfamiliar to you. Um, you're going to be using it for the first time. You're getting used to uh, pulling down the frame. Uh, you have to get used to moving the index arm forward and you're trying to find the the sun in the um, in the split in the split horizon mirror. Um, it's it's a bit difficult and uh, quicker than you might think. You'll have light going past the shade and through the telescope and you want to avoid that. So when you first use a Davis, uh, remove the telescope and just use the Side tube. The, the, the side tube doesn't have any um, optic in it. Um, it's it's a little bit safer. Okay, so let's just remove that. There we go. Good. Never pull it out vertically. You'll break the posts. Okay, this is a Cassens and Plath that I purchased recently. Very nice, actually. And you can already see the difference in the size of the optics. Uh, this is my Astra. This thing's beautiful. I love it. Okay. And last but not least, we'll take um, a Russian uh, Russian Navy um, sextant that was actually manufactured uh, at, the, at a time when the Soviet Union was still actually a thing. And as you'll probably see, it's huge. Um, it's a very, very nice telescope. I like using it for night sights. It's incredible how um, how uh, luminous everything appears when you're using uh, when I use the Russian um, sextant. Very, very nice. Okay, obviously, as we see here, the uh, the Davis is minute, but uh, it's to be expected. The Davis is made to a price point. And uh, and it works just fine. Uh, you can really you can use the Davis. Um, I've seen some silly comments in um, in some blogs and uh, YouTube videos as well that if you use the Davis, you'll you'll die at sea and you know stupid things like that. No, it's, that isn't actually the case. There are people who have used the Davis to uh, uh, to cross the Atlantic, to cross the Pacific. It works. It, you have to. Um, uh, calibrate it uh, very often, um, especially um, the horizon mirror. Uh, it does it does tend to lose calibration, um, as Proto Thad mentioned. Uh, it, it's probably due to the uh, to the plastic construction. I would add, however, that uh, the <clears throat> the adjustment screws themselves are actually have, uh, actually have a very coarse thread. Um, you'll find the others have have threads that are far far finer, and obviously that coupled with the metal construction means that you hardly ever have to change them. Okay, that's it.